Hello. We're going to take a quick look at the Edit Lot Attribute Utility. This utility automates GP's Edit Lot Number Attributes window, as you can see on the screen. Either method provides the opportunity to update a lot's expiration date, manufacturer date, and lot attribute values. This utility comes in handy if you use lot attributes that change after a lot comes into the system. For example, perhaps you use an attribute called inspected by to record who inspected a lot, or use an attribute to reflect color or quality. In any case, we can update those values faster from a wireless handheld by scanning most of the values, all at the point of origin in the warehouse. Let's take a quick look. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at how this item is set up. We're going to use CAP 100, and we're going to notice this is a lot tracked item, and it's using lot category called single wire. So all lot numbers in GP, you have the opportunity to put in a manufacturer date and an expiration date. And optional, you can set up these lot categories and have up to five attributes that you can name anything you want. So I'm just going to set up two, color and quality. So that's all set up all right. So if we were going to do this in GP, once a lot is in the system, let's open this up and take a look. For example, lot two, it's already in the system. And in my example here, we don't even have a manufacturer date, expiration date, or either of my two attributes set up. This came into the system without that information. So you can use this edit lot number utility in GP, put in the item number, pick a lot number, and you can fill in those values here. And we'll say it's uh, red, quality is A, and we'll leave the expiration manufacturing thing alone. So you'd have to process this, close the window, deal with the posting reports so on. If we take a look at this now, there's our red and A. Okay? So do this from the handheld. We can do it all right where it happens out in the warehouse. I have this on my miscellaneous menu. I'm going to go into edit lot attributes. So we prompt for the item. And this is where we're going to be faster with the handheld. We would probably scan the barcode for the item. Same with the lot number, we can um, scan it. That would be the fastest way. Then what we're going to do is bounce through all the configured uh, attributes, dates. So it's going to start with the manufacturer date. It tells me what format to put it in. I can hit F3 if I want it to be blank. Let's say it's manufactured on the end of uh, 2010. We will move up to the expiration date. We'll make that 2011. And if I want to accept this attribute that's already there, I can just hit enter. I can change it. I can hit F3 to delete the value altogether. I can say, well, that's not red. That's orange. And uh, we'll take the quality. We'll just hit enter. And boom, it's saved. So if you look at this in GP, there it is, orange A, and I have my date. So you could come right back in and do that again. We have various configurations for this transaction. Take a quick look. Define this transaction. Edit lot attributes. We can show a list of the scroll numbers, or a list of the scroll numbers. Show a list of the lot numbers in a scrolling list if we want. Um, instead of forcing them to type it they, or scan it, they could scroll through the list and hit enter. We can turn on and off whether we prompt for the various dates. Like if you, you only deal with one of them, we could just uh, prompt for that one and not the other. And attributes, we can do things like always prompt for all of them, never. In other words, don't prompt for them at all. Or only prompt if they're empty, like we, we need those to be filled in. So that comes in handy if you um, use any of the scenarios that we mentioned. And maybe there's uh, other needs that you could solve by using this.
that is about it for Edit Live Attributes. Thank you very much for watching.